back to Wandering Star Farmhouse. We have a lot of jalapenos. And so we are going to make jalapeno poppers. Here is our pepper aisle. Have banana peppers on the end. I put them close to the end so that my kids can walk by and, oh, somebody picked that one and left it behind so that my kids can pick them from the end. It's a great pepper year. Here's a little green pepper. But the green peppers are actually huge. They're doing great. There's another huge green pepper. Green pepper. Woo, there's another huge green pepper in there. More hu huge green peppers. More huge green peppers. Another huge green pepper. Ah, ha, ha. Here's the jalapenos. We are going to pick jalapenos. We've got a ton. And so we are going to make jalapeno poppers for our viewing party for the Olympics. So yeah, I just said watch the Olympics. Um, and now that it's after the fact, I feel like I owe a little bit of an explanation about why we were even watching the Olympics in the first place and what we thought of it overall. So Jeremy and I actually both have personal connections with Paris. Jeremy lived in France for two years before we got married and he served a proselytizing mission for our church. And he did spend a little bit of his time there kind of on the outskirts of Paris and they were able to go into the city on their preparation day once a week and do a little bit of, of sightseeing on those days. And then when Jeremy and I were dating, I actually was able to do a study abroad in Austria and took a weekend trip on the rail to Paris. And Jeremy was the one who told me everything that I needed to go see. He kind of planned out my day for me. Then two summers later, after Jeremy and I were married, we actually went on a little belated honeymoon back to Paris and back to France. So we've been looking forward to the Olympics being in Paris for a number of years now. And even as the Olympics have kind of trended in a direction that we're not comfortable with, we still were excited for an opportunity to be excited about a worldwide event happening in Paris. Now, as you may know, there was some questionable material in the opening ceremonies and yeah, I mean, we got it. We, uh, and it made us feel uncomfortable and we sent our kids to go get ready for bed during different parts. And, and we really aren't surprised because it has been prophesied that in the last days, Good will be called evil and evil will be called good. And I think that is a little bit of what we saw this last weekend. And I think this is just one of the really hard things about living in the last days is that the wickedness in the world is intertwined so closely with good things that it is hard to separate them. The world is kind of in a lot of chaos right now and there is war and rumors of wars. And I think particularly right now, when there is a lot of tension in the world, this was something that I was looking forward to just as a, as a opportunity where you have the world actually coming together for something positive, participating in sports together and showing, you know, sportsmanship and, and pride or satisfaction in a job well done and cheering on the home team, but also interacting closely with and having good sportsmanship with, with the other countries. And I think this is kind of uh, Jeremy and my perspective on some other things in life too. Um, I know of Christians that don't celebrate Easter or Christmas, any of the cultural traditions along with those holidays. And Jeremy and I have definitely taken the opinion that we can celebrate how we want to, and we can take the good out of some of these cultural celebrations and participate in those, but we don't have to take the bad. And 
Um, and that can be something positive that can add to our joy and fulfillment in life. And also it's a way for us to be in the world, but not fully of the world. Before his death, Jesus told his apostles to go out into the world and share the gospel with all nations and all people. And we can't do that by totally shutting ourselves off from the world. So we are going to try and just take the good that comes out of it and take hopefully the positive feelings and camaraderie that can come to our nation right now that we can get everyone rooting for the same team instead of being so divided as we are in this political season right now. I think that there's some really positive things that could come out of viewing or watching the Olympics this year. And is that the only way to build unity in our country? No. And if other people don't choose to do it, that's fine and I don't blame them. But this is what we ended up doing. We had good food and we ate brie and we ate French macarons and and our delicious jalapeno, fresh jalapeno poppers. This was a great experience. My son and I worked on this project together, but that's why we chose to participate in viewing the opening ceremonies of the Olympics.